And we're live part two. Um, if you happen to catch the first five minutes of Pia's interview, um, I hope you came back to um, hear her about her martial arts journey and uh, her win at the USA Sport Karate Tournament. And I'm really excited to have Pia on and hopefully I can hear you better and you can hear us better. Um, so Pia, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, how are you? Good, um, I'm happy I can hear you, your sweet voice, and um, I'm ready to get these questions going. So first, um, before we get into the interview, I just wanted to say that the Power Chat series today um, was hosted, is hosted by Premier Martial Arts, who's hiring around the country. Um, you can apply now at www pmajobs.com. And for more information, you can go to point, the Point Fighter Live page for Barry Vonover's um, full video on what employment for premier martial arts looks like. And this is an opportunity you do not want to miss because it's a great operation. And um, not only do they have a, an amazing starting salary, but they also offer benefits. Um, so check out if there's an opening near you. This is not something you want to miss. Um, and I'm ready to get to know Pia, so Pia, how um, how did the tournament at Delray go for you? Um, I think it was very safe. They had things in the air to clean the air. Um, it was a very nice tournament, good, well, well organized. Um, the competitors were really good, and overall, it was a pretty good tournament. So that's that's how you felt the tournament went. Um, and how did you actually perform? Um, so my coach recommended that I go up in age division so that I could have more practice and like be better. Um, so I fought in the 14, 15, um, and at first I was nervous, but I did very well once I got, got in the ring and I got first place. And then I also did my 12, 13 division normally. And I won that. Who did you, who did you fight, um, for the 12, 13 grands? Um, I'm not sure their name, but they they were very well. I'm honored to fight them. I was honored. That's good. That's good. And it's great that you got the experience and that you were able to um, fight up a division. And did you feel like you, you, you won, obviously, but did you feel like that there was a skill difference? There was a weight difference? What do you feel like... Um, was the determining factor between a 12 to 14, or sorry, a 14 division, 14, 15, I think you said, and a 12, 13. Um, so when I was fighting uh, 14, 15, she was definitely taller, mm -hmm. um, but I tried to think that she was just another uh, female still around my age and that was fighting me. And same thing for the 12, 13, she was actually taller than me as well, um, but same mm -hmm. thing. So how tall are you and how old are you? Um, I'm 13 years old and I'm like five, six, five, five. Okay. Oh, wow. 13 years old and you're the same height as me. That's crazy. And I'm 20. Okay. But, um, so yeah, so five, five, that's a pretty, that's a pretty average height, um, for a girl. Um, would you call yourself a kicker? Would you call yourself a puncher? How do you identify as a fighter? So I used to kick a lot, like that was all I did. But once I started like practicing more and getting to like fighting way better, I'm using my hands a lot more. So right now I'm kind of in between. Mm -hmm. So you're still transitioning. And I think that when, when we're younger as fighters, definitely you tend to kick more. Not sure why that is, um, but a lot of people do kick uh, when they're in, when they're younger and then transition to more punches. Um, so I see on your shirt, it says hashtag I'm in the vlog. I know you and your brother, um, you not only do you compete um, on the US sport karate circuit, but you compete on NASCAR and you've competed on multiple different circuits. Um, and you can be found at tournaments, not only taking the event seriously and doing really well, but documenting the whole thing. So kids can go back later and watch and be like, that's me in there. And I think I was in one of your blogs too, uh, or <laughs> vlogs. Um, so tell me, how did that get started with your brother? Um, so 
at first, we I was at a hyper chicken camp, and me and my dad thought we should document it for, like, the family. And once it was edited and everything, we're like, oh, this, this is pretty good. We should post it on YouTube. So when we posted it, um, we also thought of it as we can document ours later. Like, we can watch it. Um, so then we went to a tournament, and we're like, okay, let's vlog this as well. Um, so it just went on from there. We're happy having really a lot of fun doing it. Yeah, um, and I think that when people think of martial arts, they think of it as very individual. Um, you don't necessarily really have a team that you go out with on the mat. Like you can be on a team, but you're, you don't compete with a team unless it's team fighting. But it seems like you've made some real friends in, in the martial arts circuit. So tell me sort of a little bit more about what you get yeah. from karate beyond first places and beyond grand championships like you did this weekend? Um, so first, um, obviously you learn how to defend yourself and all those type of things, but you also, like you said, form friendships and I've made lots of friends um, going to tournaments and, you know, competing. Um, and it also helps help with my confidence um i don't know why but it just helped me become stronger and be the person i am now and it helps me do many things cool and so you're 13 you're you finished school at 4 30 because i wanted to do it in the middle of the day um i asked you this question earlier but i want to make sure our viewers now hear your answer how do you how do you balance being a full-time student um, and also doing multiple different divisions in karate. Okay, um, my school starts like at 9.30, which is, I'm glad it's kind of late. So in the morning, I have time to train. I wake up really early and I work out. And in during the week, I alternate from practicing, for example, my weapons or practicing my CMX forms and traditional forms. And after school, um, I sometimes have privates. And on Fridays, I spar with Millennium Martial Arts. And that's helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so you, you spar with Millennium Martial Arts. Do you, do you train with people um, who are older than you, bigger than you? And is that why you think maybe that you were ready to fight up? This, this weekend? Uh, yes, lots of the people there are very, like, very good. And most, mm -hmm. some of them are older and um, they have me fight them as well. And yes, that, I think that has helped me a lot because I used to fight people that are either the same or lower than me because I was scared. But this has definitely helped my confidence and helped me improve a lot. Yeah, so maybe that you mentioned confidence before. I think that um, martial arts can help confidence in so many different ways. Um, and, you know, fighting older people makes you more confident, not only in the ring, but when you're out in the real world. Um, you know, like you said, you can defend yourself. And so that's always nice to be able to have that reassurance. Um, even as like a 13 year old, you you know the moves that you need if you, if needed to defend yourself, which is great. Um, and not only do you fight, you do forums and musical. Um, so tell me a little bit more about your perspective as both a forums person and a fighter. How are you, how does that inform you as a martial artist? Hmm. Um, well, definitely um, point sparring has more control and everything, but traditional forms, it helps you visualize like more moves and when you're doing a form sparring has helped me visualize an actual person attacking me and for what i do when i'm doing that and you know this this was a usa sport karate has been putting on tournaments um and figuring out ways to get people back on the mat um how was it competing in person still in a pandemic and did you also get to participate in any of the virtual events that happened previously? Um, so at the USA Sport Karate last weekend, I think it was very well organized. Um, they had some things in the air that cleaned the air. I think that was very, very well. 
Um, and everything was pretty, the maths were pretty good distance away from each other. And yes, I have competed virtually. Um, Sports Martial Arts has been hosting um, online tournaments. And also NASCA, you submit videos. And yeah, those have helped a lot with me staying active in um, competing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so th that, that was one of the great alternatives that when sport karate came to a pause in person, um, it still kept going online, just like a lot of things, school, jobs, um, seminars. And Alex posted a poll on Point Fighter Live asking, you know, do you think that virtual tournaments will continue as in-person starts to happen again? You as a competitor, I wanted to get your perspective. Uh, do you Would you plan on um, competing both in person and virtually, or are you ready to just go back onto the mat and have things go back to normal? Um, so this weekend, I'm actually traveling to a pro mic tournament, but um, I at the moment, I do both virtual and in person, and I think I for now, I would continue doing both so I don't go out too much, um, so I stay safe. Um, so I recommend both. That's great. That's a great answer, um, especially because it's available to you if you have the time. Um, and you get to compete against people who, you know, you ha would never see at a tournament in person. I think some of the sport, um, sport martial arts competitions had people from all over the world that you wouldn't see necessarily at an in-person tournament. Um, from your, and I'm putting you kind of on the spot, but from your recollection, do you um, do you remember seeing any like countries from virtual tournaments that sort of surprised you? Um, I'm not sure if you might have taken note, but like you know, some countries that you wouldn't see at at a at an in-person tournament, maybe. Um. Well, not really. I don't pay attention to that, but I noticed that. Lots of people didn't have that much space. One person competed in like this small room that is like really small, and I'm super surprised that they were able to do a whole form there. Um, but one of the, I guess, places that I was surprised somebody came was I once saw someone from Puerto Rico and Canada. Gotcha. Yeah. What what people make do with what they have, be it like a small room um, or or something like doing their recording their form outside on their lawn in an uneven on an uneven hill um so it's great to see everybody staying active and you also um taking both protective measures and um supporting the sport and staying um involved which is which is great so you said that you're going to um, a pro mac tournament can you remind everybody what that tournament is if you remember the name of it um and where it is and what you'll be competing in there Um, so I believe it's called Jubilee um, Open, I think. Um, but um, I'm not sure where it is, but I am driving, so it's not too far. Um, and I have stuff. Gotcha. And I'm also, okay, awesome. So the, um, the and first time, will you be? Um, I'm teaming up um, in fighting teams. Okay, cool. So I think it came through a little bit, a little bit laggy, but I heard that you're doing team fighting. Um, are you, are you excited for that? Who are you fighting with? Is it a surprise or? Um, I'm going to keep it for when I get there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So um, good. Make sure that everybody then I'm excited to maybe hopefully get you back on if you win teams, um, if it's a successful event for you. So I wish you the best. Um, my last question uh, for you, 13 years old, um, the, thus far, what has been your favorite experience in martial arts? Like what sticks out to you? It doesn't necessarily have to be a tournament. It could be really anything. Um, if it is a tournament, great. But your, you know, what is your favorite experience? You vlog all of these things. You can look back on them. Um, what comes to mind? Um. Um. So when you said that, the first thing that came to mind was actually a tournament. Um, my team in Finnish 
city, they have this annual tournament. Unfortunately, because of COVID, they had to do it virtually. But when I first went, it had this amazing resort with a big water park, and it was so fun. And another thing that stood out was how many friends you can actually make, which I've said before, and it it's really helped me. And it's very fun. Great. Yeah. Okay. So I was just still listening to the last part of your response right there. I wasn't just randomly looking at you, but um, that is wonderful, Pia. I'm so glad to have been able to get you on this show um, for, for the Power Chat series and um, celebrate your, your win, both fighting up and um, fighting in the division that you compete in. And um, congratulations on a successful event and it was great chatting with you. Um, thanks so much for, for coming on and thank you everybody for watching. Make sure you watch the replay um, if you missed any of her awesome responses and a super impressive 13 year old who's going very far places. All right, thank you so much, Pia. Of course.